Hello YouTube, it's Ashlar here with your fifth beginning Java tutorial on random numbers. We're going to pick up where we left off in the fourth tutorial using the code that's on the screen right now. Feel free to pause the video right now to type this into your window, or you can go back to the previous tutorials and code along with me. So right now we've got two dice, each roll rolling a number. We want to total them. We can get the total, you know, between 1 and 12. I'm sorry, well, it actually always be the lowest number could be 2 for the total, because if both dice roll a 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this blank line that we just put in down, and we want to create another variable that's called total, or roll total, to be more specific. It's going to be an int, and we can call it, again, you can call this whatever you want. I'm going to call mine roll total. And what it equals is, of course, die 1 rolls an x, and die 2 rolls a y, so we add them together, x plus y, and we're going to get roll total. And then we can print out a line, do another sys out here. We can do another line that says the total rolled is, and then I like to put a colon, space, and then outside of your quotation marks, but still inside your parentheses, do a space and a plus. Actually, you don't need to put the space out there. I do it just so it's easier to read. And then we're going to use that new variable roll total. And now we can run our program, and it should roll 10 times. Remember, you can change all these later if you want to roll 20 times, 200 times, 3 times, 1 time. It doesn't matter. You can change any of these numbers up here and get different results or change the sides of your dice. Right now, though, because we use the same variable for both dice sides, both of your dice have to have the same amount of sides. If you wanted to roll dice with different sides, you just need to make another variable. You could actually make as many variables as you want. You could put sides 1, sides 2, sides 3, and set the value of it to what, however many sides you want that dice to have. But this, since they were both going to be six sides, there was no point in making another variable. I can just put sides in, uh, in die 1 and die 2. So I'm going to go ahead and click Run. And that's the original output. Click Run. And now you can see I'll scroll up. Now we've got the roll number. Die 1 rolled a 2, then the roll number, still roll number 1, die 2 rolled a 6, and then it totals them for us. The total rolled is 8. And then it does that again for roll number 2, and this is 10 rolls, and you can see. Now we've got a quick console-based dice roller app just to show you some quick applications of using random numbers in a way that maybe illustrates it, hopefully in a fun way. So I hope you all learned a lot today, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and stay tuned for more tutorials.